Hi everyone, it's Sarah from Plan Sarah Plan and welcome to my November setup plan with me where I will set up the month view, the dashboard and the notes pages. This is my Erin Condren Life Planner. It's a seven by nine coiled version. I have the hourly layout, but that won't really matter for the monthly plan with me. I'm going to decorate it with a sticker kit from my Etsy shop. Here is the header, some day covers, some event stickers that I've already started to fill out, some dashboard stickers over here, some deco and more event stickers, a little bit of retro kitchen looking stuff here and a sidebar that I've already filled out with my bills for the month. So before we get started, I just wanna say, because I forget to sometime, that anything that you see that you just wanna try out, like a tool that I'm using or anything else, the planner itself, most all of that is going to be linked in the video description. So feel free to browse that video description and see if there's anything there that interests you. I do have a $10 off referral link for anyone who wants to try Erin Condren for the first time. So that is a nice chunk off of the price of your planner. Also, as of the filming of this video, there is a flash sale going on with 20% off every single thing on the website. So I don't know how long it's going to last. It's a flash sale, so it may disappear as fast as it came. If you watched my last plan with me, you know that I have a nickname for this kit. The colors of it are so retro to me. There's the teal color that I have in the date covers here, and there's a lot of orange. So I'm calling it my Howard Johnson's kit. And I'm not talking about like whatever new version of Howard Johnson's is out there, but the old like hotel chain that had a giant orange rooftop. This is my Howard Johnson's kit, and it has a mid-century circles vibe to it. So, not mid-century circles vibe. These are mid-century circles. But it has a mid-century vibe, mid-century modern vibe to it. And I was just in a kind of playful mood when I created this kit and ended up with a Howard Johnson's vibe. I'm standing by it. I'm not sure which video you're going to see first, this one or the interview that I did earlier today with my friend Simone Brutus, who is the creator of the Prairie Prayer Planner that I love and I have been using since late 2019. And I just thought it was time to do a new feature with her. And this was our first interview ever. But I thought it was time to introduce Prairie to a new audience because some of you have joined my YouTube community fairly recently and you might not be familiar with it, but Simone came up with this book that she calls a Prairie and it stands for Prayer Warrior and she just combined those two words and it's a, an undated planner that is for an entire year and it's daily. And the cool thing about it is that mine, I have two prayer years. My first one is almost all used up with 365 days of prayers. And then I have a new one on standby that I'm going to make myself wait to use until I've used up every single page in my first one. The second one has some updates to it and a few improvements, but it's basically the same deal. But in a nutshell, The Prairie is a very luxurious looking book that reminds you a little bit of a Bible because it has a vegan leather cover and it also has gilt edging. So all around it, there is this metallic gold on all of the edges of the pages. And there is at least one satin bookmark in there, a ribbon bookmark, and it's a very special book. And she made it that way for an intentional reason, and we go into that in the interview. But even if you're not interested in trying out her prayer planner, you might just want to hang out with two sisters in Christ, I consider her my sister in Christ. I consider her my friend, even though the only way that we have met is 
by chatting and emailing and today by this video interview, which was like more like a visit than an interview, in my opinion. So I'm gonna upload that just as soon as I get it edited. I don't really have a schedule where I hold off videos until later, just because I would kind of, I don't know, I'm not that great of a planner for whatever my content's going to be. I just kind of put up content whenever I have it. So as soon as I get that visit with Simone edited, it will go up on my YouTube channel and I really can't wait for you to see it and to tell me what you think. I'll tell you what I think in a nutshell. I think Simone, even though she is a far younger woman than I am, has wisdom beyond her years. And I feel like the book that she came up with in Prayer Ear and developed, designed herself, found a manufacturer for it, I feel like all of that stuff was guided by the Holy Spirit and she is a blessing to me and I hope she's going to be a blessing to you. I feel like she will be and if you've never heard me mention her before, I'm excited for you to meet her. Date covers are down and you know obviously November is the month of Thanksgiving and so my freebie with this month's kit was all about kitchen stuff and because a lot of us do more cooking in November than we do at other times of the year. And until recently, I was not much of a cooking enthusiast at all, but I've been working on home traditions, making things cozy at home more now than maybe at other times of the year. And that's just in an effort to help me cope with what I find a little bit depressing about shorter days and less sunshine and when the time change occurs it will be better in the morning but worse in the afternoon when I teach my piano lessons so I'm not a big fan of the time change I will be happy to get the extra hour of sleep how about you that's always a bonus however I'm just not a big fan of dark afternoons when my piano students are still arriving and coming in for piano lessons and you, know, you just get a little bit tired, I guess, and less motivated to stay upbeat and energetic and all that. And I wanna motivate my students. So it's a little bit tricky. All right, so I just decided to use these full boxes, even the ones that are blank in the middle for the days that are in October up here and then the two December days down here. And I'll probably add a little bit of deco to those, like these blank ones, such as, maybe we'll just put a, a big cooking pot right there and a cutting board here. And on this, this one down here, how about a, let's do another covered, dish. Okay, and then we'll hold on to these and see what we want to do with them later. Next thing I want to do is put down paydays, and for that, I think it's awfully cute if you take the little dollars and the little payday thingy and layer them like that. Kind of like that. Now, do I really want to use orange on orange, or do I want to use orange and brown? I think I want to use orange and brown, actually. So let's put back the orange save that for another application. And that way it's just a little bit more colorful. So I do it like that and then put it down on payday. I do it a little bit differently every, every month and I guess I don't really have a favorite way other than to combine these two stickers. Much how, how I do it and then bump it up here against this preceding day. That works well for me. I have one more big box and I think I will use it for Thanksgiving and then put the date sticker down on top of that. No idea what we're gonna do for Thanksgiving this year. It's still very much up in the air. 
but there will be food. And now I've already filled out a bunch of the event stickers, almost all of them. So let's go into time lapse and I'll put those down and then we'll see what's left to do. Here's a slow motion flyover of the monthly view, and I feel like this is everything that I can think of for now, but I can always add to it, and I do have a few event stickers left should I need to add another event. So now let's go on to the dashboard and the notes pages by turning the page. In my kit, I have stickers for all of these boxes on the dashboard that for a long time perplexed me, but I've kind of settled into a way that I enjoy using them. And we're going to start with the book of the month. I've chosen Respectable Sins by Jerry Bridges to listen to on Audible. I like to put my book of the month right here. The bigger the box, the harder it is to make it straight. But that is it. Good. And I've printed this cover on zinc photo paper with my HP Sprocket Select. I have a link for that down in the video description, but it's sticker paper. So it prints without any ink at all. It's just a mini photo printer and it's perfect for doing the book of the month. And the Sprocket Select prints at a slightly bigger size than the original HP Sprocket. So just be aware of that and make sure you get the size that you like. And I have a header that just says book of the month. Last month's book of the month was Little House in the Big Woods. I was just in the mood to do a Little House in the Prairie book. I don't know if I'm going to continue going through the entire series. I thought I might, but I'm not sure if I'm really going to do that. I'm, I don't know. Down at the bottom of this, now this one is super Howard Johnson's, right? This even is angular like that orange rooftop that the old ones had. Down here is where I put little photos. So I take these mini photos here and make them even smaller by creating some collages in a separate app. Like I use the Project Life app for that. And then I just print it out and I have like four, two to four little photos that I can cut out and have even smaller and put right here. So the header will just say, my memories. And then, these two boxes. One will be for my piece of the month that I'm going to learn on the piano and the other will be pretty much some household goals. We all have lots of household goals when we think company might be coming over. <laughs> top one is going to be the household goals. So here's the header. And then since this inner box is that dark orange, I'm going to take the dark orange and just make a little line to separate the actual goals from the header. And I might as well take one of these little houses. Ooh, I know what I want to do. I don't think I did this last month, but what I wanna do is actually use the houses as little bullet points. So I don't even know what these things are going to be yet. I'm just going to go ahead and put the little houses down and then we'll write beside these. Stagger and be artsy. And this part is going to be my challenge of the month, which is really going to be the piano piece that I learned to play and hopefully have a nice video performance of it by the last day of November. There we go. And then I have a November header for this part right here. There, that's just right. 
Okay, so let's go to the household goals and write them down. First thing I know I wanna do, because we basically do this every year right around Thanksgiving, is clean our kitchen windows. And the next one, both of these are going to be very kitcheny, is going to be to purge, clean the refrigerator. And the last one is going to be to try to get someone to repair a hole in the plaster that we have in a guest bedroom. And that's it for the household goals. Now, for my challenge of the month, my piano piece is going to be Sleigh Ride by Leroy Anderson. This is like an all-time favorite of mine. I really enjoy that one. So I thought, since it's the month of November and I'm not going to record it until the last day of November, it really ought to be a piece that is fun to listen to during the month of December. So it's not really a Christmas piece. It's just a winter fun piece. So hope I can get that learned and recorded. And let's pretend like this asterisk is a snowflake. Now we're gonna move on to the notes pages, two of them. This one used to be where I put my memory verses. I like to switch that now to this page, but I forgot for the last two months. I think I did it right in July, maybe in August, but then I messed up. So my memory verses are going to go here and my prayer of the month is going to go here. I will not be writing the prayer of the month until a little bit later. So when I do that, I'll make a copy of it and add it to the file area of my Facebook group because I have some friends who like to add it to their planners or they like to just have it in general to pray with me throughout the month. And so that will be available in the Facebook group. You will just have to be a member of the group. And to do that, you need to answer all three of the questions. So that was easy enough. And then let's go back before the monthly tab and do the same sort of header for memory verses. And for this, I will go ahead and write down what the verses are. Last month, by the way, I stuck with the words of Jesus as outlined in the book of Mark. And there are more that I want to include. So we're going to do that again. We're going to do a continuation of the words of Jesus. And they are all taken from the book of Mark. When I was preparing my memory verses, I went ahead and wrote them down in my Moxie Life on the month view. And check this out. If you haven't seen my video of the holiday collection from Erin Condren, this is one of the new items. It's a metal book stand that is cool because of how thick this is. It can hold a planner that is closed, a really chunky planner. It's really great. So I'm propping up my memory verses here. We're going to start with the one that is for the week of October 30th through November 5th. That one is Mark chapter 3, verses 34 and 35. And then he looked at those seated in a circle around him and said, Here are my mother and brothers. Whoever does God's will is my brother and sister and mother. And the next one is for November 6th through the 12th. It's Mark chapter 4, verses 30 through 32. What shall we say the kingdom of God is like? Or what parable shall we use to describe it? It is like a mustard seed, which is the smallest of all seeds on earth. Yet when planted, it grows and becomes the largest of all garden plants, with such big branches that the birds can perch on its shade. So I'm actually going to take one of those sentences out and just, I'm going to leave out the part, what parable shall we use to describe it? I'm just going to say, what shall we say the kingdom of God is like? It is like a mustard seed because it's understood that he is teaching in parables at this point. So I'm going to leave that out. November 13th through the 19th, we'll get Mark chapter 5, verse 36, much shorter. Overhearing what they had said, Jesus told him, don't be afraid, just believe. The 
last verse for November, and that is going to be from November 20th through the 26th. Mark chapter 8, verse 36. What good is it for someone to gain the whole world, yet forfeit their soul? And with that, I'm all finished. So memory verses are finished. I remembered to put them behind the tab instead of after the month view. And the reason, if you're wondering, that I like to do that is when I'm writing my memory verse for the week, it is much easier for me to flip back and read it as I'm writing it if it's just behind the tab. It's not a huge deal, but I've forgotten to do that the last few months, and I'm glad I kind of stopped myself before I put memory verses here. I'm hoping that this is going to be a wonderful month, and I hope that for you as well. November can be a wonderful time, and I just hope that it is, that we have lots of opportunities to spend time with loved ones and to make some nice new memories and to enjoy a nice Thanksgiving maybe try some new recipes and eat some good food. And that's going to do it for me for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Again, I just want to remind you that if you saw any items that I was using and you were curious about those, check out my video description because just about everything that I ever use is going to be down there and you might even find a discount code. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Mm -hmm.